This is surreal. The present day relationship between North and South Korea is as complex as their shared history. Early Korean kingdoms well predate Christ. Deep-rooted dynasties promoted extraordinary advancements in the arts and sciences. Once a highly valued tributary state, then governed under a period of harsh imperialist rule. In the aftermath of World War II, under the stewardship of the United Nations, the Korean peninsula was divided into two sovereign states at the 38th parallel. The Soviet Union supported North, and the South backed by the United States. We know it is easier to compose resolutions than to compose differences. On June 25, 1950, the border was breached and a three-year war waged, claiming nearly three million casualties, saw the destruction of every major city, both in the North and South, and ultimately resulted in the creation of the demilitarized zone, a 160-mile long and two-and-a-half-mile wide buffer barrier that is still today the most heavily guarded area in the world. So when most people hear of the DMZ, this is what they picture, but this is technically the JSA? It is. We're within the DMZ, but it's only about an 800 meter square uh, that sits right on the border. So half of it's in North Korea and half of it here in South Korea. Lieutenant Commander Daniel McShane is a joint duty officer in the United Nations Command Military Armistice Commission, the agency that oversees the southern half of the DMZ in trust. So right now there's an armistice, which is a ceasefire, mm -hmm. but there's not a peace treaty? That's correct. So yeah. what's the difference? Well, a peace treaty between governments would be ratified and make a permanent border. Uh, the border here is the military demarcation line, which is a de facto border, but it is agreed upon between the two Koreas. What we're looking at right now, that cement. Mm -hmm. The curb here curb. in the middle between the buildings. That is the end of South Korean territory and where North Korea begins, right? That's it. And the buildings behind us. A lot of the negotiations happen here. This is one of the conference rooms that sits astride the military demarcation line, which is the border in this area. I'm looking at the border between North and South Korea. That's it. And so if you were to take just a few more steps, you would technically be inside the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. I'm in North Korea. I mean, this is, this is, I mean, this is absolute, this is one of those experiences that I didn't know I needed until I experienced it. The buildings themselves, we're largely meant to be temporary. That's what the T stands for in front of the buildings. But here we are, 66 years later, still temporary. We're in an active war zone, essentially? Technically, yes. Civilians are able to travel here to get this very same experience that I'm getting. Very true, and I think that it will benefit future generations that come to know what's going on here now, three and a half generations after the fighting of the Korean War. Listen, not to make you nervous or anything, but I think we're being watched right now. I think we are. Yeah. Is that common? Is that normal? It can be, depending on what activities are going on out here. You can feel the tension here. How, how quiet, how calm. It seems like everyone's a little bit on edge. We're in a heightened state of readiness here, but at the same time, the worst day under armistice conditions is still better than the best day under wartime conditions. <laughs> intensity at the border, white water flowing from neighboring North Korea rages on the Hantan River in Cherwon County. You hear that? You know what that sounds like? We're about to go off a waterfall. And an hour west, the city of Paju plays host to the 11th annual DMZ International Documentary Film Festival under the management of event executive director Hyung Suk Hung. Mr. Singh, do you feel like there's any significance in the fact that the waters that we're rafting on now originated in North Korea? Not only is that message, not only is your mission 
I think beautiful, but I think it's also universal. 분단의 상징인 DMZ라고 하는 과거의 어떤 상흔을 안고 있는 어떤 고통의 상징이기도 하지만 평화를 향하고 있다고 생각합니다. 그리고 그 역할을 해내야 된다는 어떤 다짐, 평화의 메시지를 전달하기 위한 어떤 영화제라고 이해하시면 될것 같습니다. <웃음> Documentary director So Hyun Park has the high distinction of premiering her latest film, Let's Peace, on the opening night of the Seven Day Festival. If your viewers could have one takeaway, what's the theme of Let's Peace, and what's the message that you would like them to walk away with? Oh, 영화를 보신 분들이 평화라는 것이 나와는 되게 멀리 있는 것이 아니라 일상에서 찾아 보실 수 있었으면 좋겠습니다. Yeah, battles up. And in your opinion. What role does cinema play in affecting that change? 한편의 다큐멘터리가 세상을 곧바로 바꿀 수 있다고 믿지는 않지만 한 사람의 마음을 움직일 수 있다면 조금씩 조금씩 세계는 바뀌어져 나갈 것이라고 생각하는 거죠. I feel like there's a misconception. 이게 인권 종말이에요. That up there? You hear about how dangerous this area is within a stone's throw from the DMZ. But I think the only danger that we faced today was having to go to the time. Not just what this festival has accomplished, but what you aim to accomplish in the future is very inspiring. Thank you. Peace, communication, and life. What a journey. First Look is sponsored by Korea Tourism Organization, Gyeonggi Province, and Gangwon Province. The hallowed grounds surrounding the Battle of Penmagoji, situated in Cherwon County, exchanged hands some 24 times during the Korean conflict, and today remains a humbling reminder of lost life on both sides of the divide. On top of the hill, you see the monument dedicated to the fallen soldiers of the Korean War, and there are 625 of those birch trees, 625 representing the date June 25th, when the Korean War broke out back in 1950. And then you see three horses at the top with wings represent the 28th, 29th, and the 30th Regiment that fought in the South Korean side. Yerika Pak is a local writer and on-air personality who reflects on Korean culture with her daily radio program, Inside Korea. All the monuments, all the memorials here, they all symbolize and pay homage, essentially, to this hill behind us, correct? Correct. We're sitting where close to 20,000 lives were claimed, we call it the Battle of the White Horse. After the war, it was covered in ashes. It resembled, from afar, a white horse that's lying down. The history, what took place here, but then the landscape, the scenery, the peaceful nature of, of this country, it's, it's completely different than what I expected. You can't really feel the you tension, can, can you? Not at all, mm. not at all. This town is 일개차가 이 서울하고도 일개차가 한 5, 6도 일개차가 나고 장단콩이라는 게 이게 유명하게 돼 있는 거예요. The conditions here are ideal to grow soybeans. Yeah. Located within the civil control zone, a cordoned off area between the full population and the southernmost border of the DMZ, the undiscovered and now accessible village of Changdangkung is home to tofu farmer Wan Bailey. 1953년도에 여기 있는 사람들을 다 바깥으로 다내 보내고 1973년도 이렇게 마을을 만들어 갖고 이렇게 이제 곡식도 심고 그래서 이렇게 이제 마을이 성성한된 마을이 한 시간 정도 있어야 이제 사가 가지고 그 다음에 짜는 거거든요. 이러다가도 이 마을 방송에 사이렁이 불면은 다 가서 무기를 받아 갖고 가서 요소에서 이게 건물을 쓰고 무기 걸도 지키고 그랬지. When you hear about the 38th parallel, when you hear about the DMZ, what comes to mind is war. You look around, there's soybeans and crickets. I find it incredible how you were able to turn a place that was hostile and dangerous into a place now that is 
lush and, and prosperous. How's my form? Do I have good form? Do you think that there's maybe peace on the horizon? That's what, well, I'm personally hoping for. Uh, I hope my parents are still alive yeah. so that they can visit their hometowns where they were born. So you have roots then in North Korea? Well, I do. Both my parents were born in North Korea. My mother's entire family escaped the war. They crossed the Imjin River. It starts in the north, flows to the south. And my mother was just a baby. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. That really is incredible. The fermented rice wine spirit of Makali is native to Korea. An artisanal producer, Young Soo Pak, crafts the highest caliber product from the pure waters encompassing the perimeter city of Yeonchun. 30년 전에 저기에서 군대 생활을 했었고요. 어, BMG 새로운 나의 삶을 위해서 그 중에 우리 막걸리를 어, 재발견. 군대 생활할 때그 기억났던 임진강의 맑은 물이 생각이 나서 여기 다시 오게 됐습니다. It's a little milky. 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 여기 과거에는 통제되어 있다 보니까 그리고 이제는 사람들에게 접근이 허용되어 있다 보니까 이 깨끗한 곳을 그대로 보존을 하고 맛있고 좋은 술을 빚을 수 있으면은 저의 행복이고 또 우리 모두의 행복이 되겠죠. Is there special meaning behind the source of your water? 남쪽에 있는 땅, 북쪽에 있는 물이 두 개가 만나서 You have peace right here in a bottle. Wow. 친구 간에 마시는 거고요. 그러니까 어른이나 아랫사람하고 아니고 친구 간에 마실 때는 받으시오, 따르시오. 받으시오. 따르시오. 하하. 헤이. Yep. Fill her up. 건배. 건배. Why do you think it's important to preserve these relics? For everyone to remember, to never forget. The soil from the south, the water from the north, the recipe for peace tastes mighty delicious. Sunrise in the South Korean city of Kosong reveals a sprawling coastline bathed in placid golden light. The sound of the ocean, clarity of the water, I mean, it's like glass out there. If I didn't know any better, I'd think I was in paradise. You are. Pick out the barbed wire here, and this is one of the most beautiful views I've ever seen. First open to the public in April of 2019, the Kosong Peace Trail provides guests with access to the DMZ from the Eastern Maritime border. And these images of the terrain are the first ever broadcast by Western media. This peace trail was the first of three peace trails to open along the peninsula. They're trying to reduce tensions along the demilitarized zone as kind of like a peace hub mm -hmm. that incorporates everything from history, ecology. I mean, this is like a natural preserve and also culture. What's so significant about that? I mean, 10 years ago, five years ago, was that even something that was on the, on the horizon? I don't believe that was on the table. Just to be here when it is open, the two careers are speaking, is a feat among itself. Mm -hmm. Along with the Republic of Korea Army, Captain Raymond Ishmael with the United Nations Command Military Armistice Commission has been stationed at the border for nearly a year and supervises stability in the region. From where we were, looking at it from afar, um, it's one thing, but actually being down here, being in this, being surrounded by this, it completely changes your perspective and the way it feels. I still have trouble believing that what I'm looking at is North Korea. Does this fence run along the entire stretch of the beach? I mean, how far does this go? This goes 2.6 kilometers north. Okay, and what's this body of water here behind us? Right here, we're looking at the East Sea. You can't have a physical border that goes 
into the ocean. You know, when you look at a map of the Korean Peninsula, you can actually see visually the demarcation line. Yep. On the ocean, we have something called the Northern Limit Line, the NLL, okay. which we obviously cannot see. But uh, where we're standing right now is basically where the Northern Limit Line is. At what point did the beach become protected and the waters become protected? Well, these waters are always protected. Maybe about five okay. clicks south, civilians can access the beach. <laughs> And it's in these waters that the proud Henyo women carry on the centuries-old tradition of pulling aquatic delicacies from their resident shores where Peng Rul Kim, Chung Hua Lim, and Young Oak Kim have been fishing for 40 years. What does Henyo mean? So the sea? Ladies, so ladies of the sea. One, two, three! Within very close proximity of where we're at, yes. civilians live here, villagers. That's right. So for them, military presence. It's just part of their daily existence. Look at this. That is straight military. People going off to work, kids going to school, women going out to sea. <laughs> they are aware of the military tensions mm -hmm. along this entire area, but they're trying to make the best out of it because yeah. this is their livelihood. How beautiful is that? We're at the Kim Gum Corridor Gate. I think the optics of this place says it all. Woo! Look at all that! This is the most northeastern point uh, in which civilians can can travel. Okay. Mm, what is all? I mean, this is the boundary line. This is where the road. This is where the road ends. Right. This gate controls access into North Korea. Into North Korea. This is incredible. That's what opening up this peace trail to the public is all about. To get them to really kind of experience the inter-Korean process that is happening. There are people doing the same thing on this side of the border as they're doing on that side of the border. So I guess a border can separate people, but it can't prevent them from living their lives. Exactly. Just beneath your feet in Yonkou County lies the key to one of Korea's most treasured cultural namesakes. Uh, and at Yonkou Porcelain Museum, pottery master Tu Sup Chung has made producing and preserving Korean ceramics his life's work. So these were used for holding Korean sauces. 여기 실제로 아직 냄새가 나요. Really? 그 다음에 고려 시대에 들어와서 청자가 만들어지고. Mm. You can really smell it. 조선 시대에는 백자라는 것이 만들어집니다. The detail is incredible. 어, 남한의 양구와 청송 그리고 북한의 해주와 회령의 자기를 지금 전시하고 있습니다. So pottery is Korean. Mm. It's not North Korean and it's not South Korean. 분단이 되기 이전에는 북한의 원료와 남한의 원료를 합토를 해서 좋은 원료로 도자기를 만들었어요. 그런데 분단이 되고 나서는 그런 것들을 할 수가 없는 상황이 되는 거죠. In essence, for the finest Korean pottery to be made, North and South have to come together. 어, 예. 예. 아주 좋은 기회가 되는 거죠. The journey that I've been on here, this, this absolutely incredible experience. I keep on waiting to see that scary moment. But everything that I've seen since I've been here, from the people to the, the backdrop, there's civilians here, there's farmlands here. Tours come through here. That is a large tour. I think the most striking thing is this moment that is taking place right now. The optics of what is happening, I mean, there's people on this side, there's people on that side. If this is what's happening today, who knows what tomorrow's gonna bring. What's so special about the wheel, the ever-spinning circle? 물레라는 것은 이렇게 퇴전력을 이용해서 그 도자기를 빚어내는 거거든요. We're talking about a resolution of peace. 
Isn't desire the first step? Absolutely. 그런데 중심이라는 것을 잡아야 돼요. Both governments, North and South Korea, have expressed that desire, um, and hopefully, it's uh, it's not empty talk. 가운데래 돼 가운데. Mm -hmm. 정확한 중심을 잡지 못하면 그릇을 빚어낼 수가 없어요. You know, I think there's just a a whole lot of reason to strive for that here in this area. There is that balance and that peaceful center creates absolutely stunning results. Pretty, huh? Very beautiful. It really is. Yeah. Not what I expected. Yeah. Not what I expected at all. A two foot wide slab of cement is simply a symbol because no borders are physical when humanity is willing to bridge the divide. There may be two Koreas, two separate countries, two different ideologies, but ultimately, there is only one Korean people.